Hi guys, G3 Misa here and tonight I will teach you how to use a tube tester. Okay, if you play guitar and you have a tube amp, like the one I have right there, which is a twin reverb and some Cheetos. <laughs> um, yeah, you will need, you will definitely need a tube tester to test out some old tubes like these. I mean, you'll never know when you when you need extra tubes. Um, if your tube goes bad in the amp and um, you need some replacement tubes, you might find ones in your garage and you simply don't know if they work or not or if these tubes match or not because it's very important that like your tubes match like the level of output that they have and um, okay so let's get on with this um, so what I have here is a let's take this tube out first what we have here is a NRI model 68 from the 1950s and as you can see we have all sorts of knobs here you know and I would never ever have any idea just by looking at it on how to operate this thing it looks very complicated um, I got this uh, tube tester from eBay for around $100 and I made sure that it came with a manual uh, an owner's manual it's a kind of type who who loves to read manuals there are people who do not ever want to read manuals and they want to figure out things on their own and end up later just blowing things up <laughs> I, I i love i love reading manuals just to make sure that i'm doing it right so let's get on and um let's try to test uh some 12 ax7 tubes these are preamp tubes for the twin twin reverb and um, so how do we use this thing in the owner's manual you will have a page called a tube chart okay and this lists down all the tubes that this tester can test so as you can see there's a lot there's a lot there's like 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 maybe 10 pages of different kinds of settings so how do we how do you read this thing first I want to look for the 12 ax7 settings so it should be somewhere here Let's see, probably there you go so you can see there's 12 ax7 right there and there are different columns here you have column column a i mean first column says a and b and c and here you have lever position up and down okay so you have knobs a b c and lever position up and down and these are all the settings here as you can see there's for a it says one for b it says 6.3 for c it says 20 for lever position down up up I'm sorry it says one and two for lever position down it says three four five okay okay so let's look at this thing here we have section A so we have one two three and four here we have section B with a lot of different numbers we have section C with a lot of different numbers too and we have section we have this lever group of levers which says up and down all right okay so let's go back here so it it, it says on section a we have to to set it to number one okay so let's set this to number one for section a number one for section b it says 6.3 okay so we go here to section b and there is 6.3 right there okay uh, okay for section C it says number 20 so we go over here to section C and just turn it all the way to 20 and for lever position up it says 1 and 2 so 
So we go here and we we just push the levers one and two to the up position, right there. And for the down lever, it says three, four, five. Okay, so here three, four, five. We just put all these down. And now we're ready to test our tube, but we need to put the tube in the right socket. So this is a nine-pin tube right here, which is a twelve AX seven, and it should the proper socket should be right here. So let's just make sure that we put this tube properly. Okay, now to power the tube, we have to go here to the line uh, knob and turn it. When we turn it, this meter should go to the center, which says line test. Okay, we are giving the tube the proper amount, the sufficient amount of power that it needs to power up. And as you can see, this tube is now lighting up. We're powering it up. And I would wait like maybe 10 to 15 seconds just to heat it up. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. So now I guess it's fine. Now, now we can just uh, move this uh, test knob to value. When we do that, we can see that the meter goes all the way to around 65 and it tells you it's good. So from around 51 to 100 is a good tube and 50 below is bad tube. Well, that, that's what the meter displays. But, but yes, um, so we have a good tube right here and I will definitely use this for my amp because I need one. And I hope you uh, learned something from this uh, lesson, from this video. And um, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.